price and how it lowers instances of diabetes type 2. Um, and this is important because most gluten-free diets actually have a higher rate of rice since obviously that's um, a, an easy substitution. And uh, a study in Reuters Health uh, kind of posed an interesting topic and said that people who eat brown rice may be less likely to develop type 2 diabetes. So as Boston researchers followed more than 197,000 U.S. adults for up to 22 years, Dr. Sun of Harvard School of Public Health and Bingham and Women's Hospital told Reuters Health that people should monitor their intake of processed carbohydrates in general, including white rice. Out of the group studied, 10,507 developed type 2 diabetes. Those who ate the most white rice, at least five servings per week, had a significant 17% higher risk of developing diabetes than those who ate the least white, least white rice, which was less than one serving a month. In contrast, eating two, ser two or more servings of brown rice each week produced um, an 11% reduced risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Um, also, most of the rice that Americans eat have been refined. It's refined and stripped of fiber, vitamins, minerals um, in the refining process, and it's more likely to fuel an increase in blood sugar after eating its healthier whole grain cousin, brown rice. Um, the study also took into account other lifestyle and health risks for diabetes and still found a link between the amount of white rice versus brown rice consumed. Yet it's possible that those who ate more brown rice engage in healthier diets and lifestyles in general. I'll, pull, I'll um, put the link in the show notes of the actual study so you can read it yourself. But I thought that was interesting when people with celiac or on a gluten-free diet obviously have um, more limited choices. And you can pick between white rice and brown rice. And I'm not a huge white rice fan. I mean, excuse me, brown rice fan. But this is something that just shows me that I can take an extra step and kind of get over the taste and... Try, try to taste it more and enjoy it more because there's so many more health benefits to it and it just shows you that these white refined carbohydrates are not only like bad for you in the short term they have a long-term risk that people don't really think about so before you put it in your mouth you know try to think about the long-term uh, uh, consequences there we go of of eating these refined sugars so switch to brown rice um, hope everyone's doing well out there thanks so much for watching as always it's from have not to have and gluten-free dining